Hey everyone, while I've got you here, before we start, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I see only about 50% of the viewers recently have, um, have subscribed, so if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, and um, yeah, it doesn't cost you anything, just lets you know when I upload a video, and gets my, uh, my content out there a bit further, so YouTube will recommend it, so I appreciate that, thank you, let's get into it. She's wet, been raining all day, well all weekend really, so it's Sunday night, but um, these crossings are doing what they're supposed to do, which is good. Jeepers Elfie, look at the state of you. So much for a pretty show dog. Good morning everybody, welcome back to Kiwi Summer. Well, she's cold and wet. We've had uh, 141 mils. Uh, today's the 13th of June, so we've had 141 mils uh, this month so far. So we only get about 95 mils generally in, um, in a month. So we're, we're you know we're, we're one and a half times our average already. We're not even halfway through the month. So. Uh, just here shifting fences for the ewes. We got uh, one, two, about four or five fences to shift. So one of the suggestions from you guys was uh, that you were running two wires on the same reel. So I've tried that. Uh, it's the first time I've wound it out or wound it back in. So um, yeah, seems to work quite well. Saves me having a, another reel to make a fourth wire. So we'll go and uh, put the spence back up down here at the loose block. And um, yeah, seems pretty good. And now uh, we've got a prep for the hoggets to come down here and go on to this kale and plantain. So power load of feed here, um, that's plantain, and then yeah, your good old kale, just like that. So I uh, got the kale cutter on the motorbike, run the motorbike down here, and uh, we're just gonna run some lines through here, and then this will be the runoff paddock, so they'll yeah, let them on. Transition, but yeah, we shouldn't really have any issues with transition, just because the mix of the amount of grass and and plantain in amongst this kale and then they'll have a hay feeder at the hay as well so we'll uh, jump on the bike and go and mow some lines so i find it works really well we're going to have a look and it works really well if you cut both directions on the same line so you see this has cut some but it's also just pushed some over so um yeah we'll we'll go and cut we'll go and cut uh, back the other direction but she's pretty tall stuff like oh, shoulder height up to about there so yeah we'll just see how much how much of this the sheep eat they can climb they can reach up pretty high so quite tall over here under the hedge though. Got our fence through the curl up. Just put one more top wire on. But um yeah one last job we've got to do is to shoot up the top over there. That's where the cows are up on the hill. So we just need to go and check them. Put them on a new paddock the other day. So I'll show you a bit of that footage and uh, yeah we'll shoot up and check those cows. But, uh, right we'll head home. Just up here opening the gate, these cows, these Angus cows to come into this block to chew out. Well we don't have water in here yet so we've just got to leave that gate open. Let them wander back through there. But heaps of tucker in here, plenty of shelter, so that'll be good. Boo! That's my 
my cow. Come get some food. See, it works. So this is the reason we have beef cows out here. Um, just got these blocks that we're developing at the moment that we need to chew out. So chew out, um, let the young grass come away before lemming and and stuff. And these beef cows do a bloody good job. So all this rough stuff, um, yeah, beef cows just need to maintain now. They don't need to put in any condition on or anything like that. So they can just clean these blocks up and uh, yeah, it works really well. And you can't get bulls or uh, cow cows or, or dairy cows or anything to do the job. So yeah, these beef cows work well. But this is their block they're gonna chew out. It's down here, the other side of that rock and the other side about 10 hectares in here. Oh, pretty cold. So about 15 minutes later, up here with the cows. And um, yeah, so you just saw me put them into this paddock and explain a bit about the grass and why we have them in here. But um, they are pretty good. Got lots and lots of tucker are still left in here. And you go, they're looking good. They're looking real good. So the only thing is there's no water in here really. Um, so yeah, just don't wanna, probably won't push them too hard in here. Oh, she's pretty cold. Um, yeah, and then that fence down the bottom is still buggered. From when we had a digger in here years ago, mulching these um, old fence lines out here. So, but I just haven't had a chance to get down there and fix it. Just access is pretty hard, and and then yeah. So now we've got uh, we can actually hold them in this paddock. We'll get down there and fix it sometime. These girls are happy, so we'll leave them to it. Good morning, Monday morning. So it's pretty cold. It's about five degrees and wet. Another eight mils of rain last night. So we're uh, predicting snow down to 500 meters. So that's uh, oh, about the cloud line just there. So I'll get a daily young girl. Ready for some food. So we'll go and shift the, shift our fences for the day. And, um, yeah, figure out what else to do. We need to get these hobbits in, they're heading to the lease block tomorrow, so anything that we need to do with them, I've got to do today, so yeah. We're gonna shift some fences, shift this. That's all like that there. Creek, I like the Dermatuff a puffer jacket for about a month now, and man, they are so good. Like, oh, you'd make, make jobs like this on days like this, so yeah, a bit easier. So. All right, off to the beef calves. Down here in the foot of it, and uh, things are muddy, things are really wet, so um, still shifting this over two meters. And then this is their runoff paddock. It's not too bad down this end, um, but up here is getting a bit muddy. So what I might do is uh, put a fence across so they can run through to the next one, and then pretty much just sacrifice this wee bit up under the hedge here because that's a lot harder paddock. Um, hasn't been cultivated, a lot more gravel. So that'll be a better runoff paddock just while it's so wet at the moment. So might do that later. But yeah, we'll shift this fence for now and then go and cut another line in the Rafno for my father-in-law in Rio and um, yeah those are the hoggets over there that we've got to get in and uh, talk to Fruz about when they're going to go down to the lease block tomorrow Second 
So it's got the fence put up here. Let these cars wander through. Let not touch it, it's on. Uh, wander through into that grass paddock, so that makes me feel a bit better. At least we've got somewhere um, nice and dry to sit down now. Because even though this is grass, it's uh, it's pretty muddy and pretty wet now. So all I've got to do is shift that bale feeder, but the tractor's got a flat battery, so we'll have to put that on the charge and uh, reassess that later. Right, it might be uh, pie shop lunchtime, I think. in the Kettergarth's paddock, they're going to stay there for the night and then the truck's going to be here at 8.30 in the morning to take them to the lease block we'll get them on the crop down there and um, yeah, they'll be good down there for a few while so we will come back with you tomorrow Morning cuz Morning Phil Little fella hey. Good morning Hey Jesper Hey big boy Oh <laughs> Morning, buddy. It's um, a bit of a frost this morning, so. so just gonna go and grab these. Just gonna go and grab these hoggets in. Ready for the truck. I'm gonna be out a wee bit. And, uh, yeah, Mark from Fruz will be here at 8:30. Get him behind. Blue. Steady. Good boys. Good. Hello. You ready for some kale? Mmm. Pretty tasty. No, just giving it away for another job. Next job. And uh, we'll go shift some fences and then cross these across the road.
So I've got the heating dogs out there hooking these hoggets out. Got the hunterways on the back of the truck. They'll block off that side. And I'll wander down here to this side of the road. It'll all be honky dory, hopefully. There we go. We're going to set up some power on that fence over there that we put up yesterday. Uh, yesterday? Sunday. And chuck them on the crop once the frost's gone. Beautiful day. <coughs> Quiet, blue, blue. Quiet, Jasper. So we've got the hoggets just going under the crop now. As you can see, pretty tall. <laughs> GVT transport just came and dropped off the bull that we got. So pin number 36. This fella. It's looking good. Seems to have travelled well. We'll go and find him a friend. And, um, yeah. We can get to know each other and then we will uh, join him in with the other bulls. Grandpa's ball just there. He's a bit weary, fair enough. Separated from his mates and in a new place. But he's looking good, travelled well. And then just brought up the uh, the ball that we got from Tim Please. So, same age, rising two year old. One we brought as a yearling. So, he's over there eating some hay. So, they'll get to know each other. And then we will, um, yeah, like I said before, join them in with the, join them in with the bigger balls. Still waiting on those couple of balls to get, uh, to get space to go to the works. Just having a bit of a trouble, same with the cow cows. Other things take priority. Look at me! Look at me! Oi! So this is the last bull that we brought from Grandpa's so, a couple of years ago. He's a nice looking fella. Aren't ya? Growing into a nice bull. Two boys. Saying hello to each other. You'd be happy enough in there, won't you fella? Oh, it's good to get that ball here and uh, yeah, settle down. It's nice and quiet, so, which is a bonus. So we'll leave this video here. Uh, one thing I've been mentioning to say is, yeah, if you're on Instagram, check out my Instagram account. Just post a wee bit of stuff. Got a few more photos and little reels and bits and pieces, so I'll link that down below. Thanks very much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Hey, Alfie. Good boy.